Seven months after the coup in Niger, the nation finds itself deep in a fresh wave of controversy and suspicion. Amidst the chaos, allegations have emerged, pointing fingers at France for its purported role in the continued destabilization of the country. So we're going to dig deep into these allegations and sort out the propaganda from the truth. The accusations of France's involvement in Niger's destabilization have ignited debates and speculation which have amplified certain concerns about the nation's sovereignty. Nigerian security forces recently made a startling discovery in which they found large quantities of military equipment which were seized in the capital, Niamey. The discovery of seized weapons, initially believed to be linked to France, has raised eyebrows and prompted questions about the extent of foreign influence in Niger's internal affairs, and as Niger now struggles with the aftermath of the coup and its implications, the need for transparency, accountability, and constructive dialogue have never been more important. The prevailing belief as of this moment is that these weapons were hidden by France, which of course is a great concern over potential foreign interference in Niger's internal affairs. However, in a classic move by France, the blame is being shifted to EU forces instead, which might just be a plan to divert the blame from France. Imagine finding weapons from French manufacturers and the EU comes up and starts saying, leave France alone, it was all us, we take the blame. Something just seems fishy about the EUs. Either way, even if these weapons actually are from the EU and not France, it now raises pertinent questions about the presence and intentions of EU forces within the country. As you can expect, this revelation has been met by a lot of reactions online from all over the world, and the majority of people seem to not believe the EU story, as there just isn't enough evidence to say those weapons weren't France's but actually European Union, which by the way is the body governing France and the whole of Europe. To further cover up their claims, the European Union has moved to clarify the purpose behind the seized weapons. The EU has staunchly asserted that the military equipment was solely intended for the protection of their personnel stationed in Niger, particularly amidst escalating terrorist threats in the region. Which is funny, because the EU is reportedly planning to eventually withdraw from Niger soon, the presence and activities of European forces have come under intensified scrutiny, as you can expect. This has prompted concerns among local residents about Niger's security in the future. They have no idea if they can trust France not to escalate the situation into a fully blown out war. The voices of its citizens serve as a vital reminder of the imperative to safeguard national autonomy and sovereignty in the face of external pressures. As the country handles these turbulent times, the presence of all these foreign forces only complicates matters more. Political analysts and diplomats have been emphasizing the importance of constructive dialogue and cooperation among all parties involved in ensuring Niger's stability and security, as well as that of the broader Sahel region. Niger's stability holds significance not only for its citizens, but also for the international community. With transparency, cooperation, and a commitment to addressing the root causes of insecurity, Niger can overcome its challenges and pave the way for a brighter future. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe so more people can see this.